One of the things that protects our faith is good company. The one who knows that way better than you and I do is, is shaitan. So first he says disobey, then he says get away from any company that might keep you from, remind you. So anybody who even looks like what you used to look like, you'll just stay away from them. And you'll say it's because they're gonna judge me. But what really it is, is your guilty conscience. Just, it reminds you of what you were. And you don't want to deal with that, so you just get away. And the further you get away, the more by yourself you are, you're dead, basically. Like uh, one of the examples my teacher gave of the Muslim is like a leaf on a tree. When he gets cut off, the life supply is cut off. Right? The leaf, so long as it's connected, it's getting nourished. And once it's taken out, it's done. There's nothing. So, قُلْ هَلْ أُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِشَرِّ مِنْ ذَلِكْ Should I tell you of something even worse than that? مَثْلُوبَةً عِنْدَ اللَّهِ As far as the compensation is concerned, a payback is concerned with Allah. مَنْ لَا عَنَهُ اللَّهُ وَغَضِبَ عَلَيْهِ The one who Allah cursed. And is angry at him on top of that. وَجَعَلَ مِنْهُمُ الْقِرَدَةَ وَالْخَنَازِيرَةَ And he made out of them monkeys and pigs as punishment. وَعَبَدَ الطَّاغُوتَ And the one who worshipped, uh, uh, the worshipped sl- uh, slaves, or sorry, worshipped the ta'ut, the disobedient entity to Allah. Allah Azza wa Jal adds, لَعَنَهُ attributed to himself. He cursed him. He's angry at him. He made him monkeys. He made him a pig. Or made, made them pigs. And then at the end of it he mentions, وَعَبَدَ الطَّاغُوتَ but abada is not referred to Allah. The huwa goes back to the, the one he, who Allah cursed. What Allah is saying is the worst curse on a, from Allah to somebody, the worst punishment from Allah to somebody, is that they become a worshiper of at taghut the entity that disobeys Allah. And that's worse than all. It's a climax of all of these things. Hulaika sharrul makanan. That's, those people are far worse as far as where they stand. Wa adallu an sawa'is sabil. And they are the most far misled away from the even path, the path that goes straight. وَإِذَا جَاءُوكُمْ قَالُوا amanna. And whenever they come to you, I'll translate this in the present tense because إِذَا is used. And whenever they come to you, they would say, or they say, we have iman as well, we believe as well. وَقَدْ دَخَلُوا بِالْكُفْرِ وَهُمْ قَدْ خَرَجُوا بِهِ And they had already entered with disbelief, meaning disbelief in their hearts. وَهُمْ قَدْ خَرَجُوا بِهِ And it is with that very disbelief that they left with. This is talking about, you know, we, we learned about these people in Ali Imran. These people we learned about in Ali Imran. There was a group of uh, Jews that were interested in Islam, and the rabbis saw that as a threat, so they trained some of their own, go during the day to the Prophet, and believe, and by the afternoon, by the end of the day, leave. آمِنُوا بِالَّذِي أُنزِلَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَجْهَ النَّهَارِ وَاغْفُرُوا آخِرَهُ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ so others might come back out of the religion too. This is what this ayah is talking about. There are people who came into Islam and they come and say, we believe. But as they say we believe, their iman is ha- already has kufr. And at the end of the day when they leave, they say, I, we give it a shot, but it's really nothing here. It's a false religion. Then it's not like they left iman, they left with what they came with. They came with kufr and they left with kufr. Wallahu a'lamu bima, uh, bima kanu yaktumun. And Allah knows what, what they have been hiding.